gifts I'm preparing for some Christmas sharing. But I pause because hang in my stocking. I can hear a knocking. Is that you, Santa Claus? Shoe is dark out. Ain't the slightest spark out upon my clacking jaw. Who's there? Who is it? Uh, stopping for a visit? Is that you, Santa Claus? Merry Christmas. And a happy go to hell. What's he doing here? Is he with you? Detective Tritter and I, we worked out a deal. Already got a lawyer. Get out of my office. I told him I didn't write those prescriptions. I spoke with the DA. He agreed to two months in a rehab facility in exchange for a guilty plea. Get out of my office. No jail time. Right. I should get locked up in some place I don't belong in order to avoid getting locked up in some other place I don't belong. I got you on forgery and fraud, enough drugs. To... No sanctions to the medical board. Mm -hmm. You can get your car back and your bank accounts and your precious tumor-ridden patients. I did this to help you. Next Christmas, buy me a sweater. You punched out an employee. You nearly cut a little girl in half because you were too strung out. I was in pain! You need to believe that I've got a problem so that your betrayal has the illusion of nobility. But you just selfish... Knock it off. Look, I don't care why Dr. Wilson is doing this. And right now, it makes no difference to you either. But you need to deal with the reality of your current situation. You want to stand on principle? You end up in a cell. And you end up never practicing medicine again. So you got two choices. Your principles or your life. Get out of my office. The DA put a clock on the deal. You got three days to decide. House! Just give me a minute. You're afraid of the pain. You're not? You can still have pain meds in rehab. Tramadol, gabapentin. Those don't work. They will once you're weaned off the Vicodin. Look, there's Jesus. I go tell the Romans. Fine, run to Cuddy. You don't think she's gonna support me on this? Well, the stitches are healing nicely. There's no sign of infection. Whoa. Sorry. Just need her for a tiny moment. Small favor. Pills. Who's the wit? Doctor. Don't worry, I'll be firing him soon. Wait in my office. Incision looks just big enough for a chest tube. Collapse lung? Someone mistake you for pinata? Delightful. Usually we just get the elf jokes this time of year. No one trauma. Negative PPD. What flavored dwarfs are you guys? My daughter and I both have cartilage hair hypoplasia. Think you can make a pun out of that? Yes, but I don't want to be insensitive. She's got a bit of a short fuse, isn't she? It's a bleb. Wait in my office. Bleb's not a diagnosis. It's an evasion. We'll schedule an MRI to make sure. But a certain number of these cases are idiopathic. Let me translate that into talking for you guys. It means Dr. Cuddy's got no idea why your daughter's lung suddenly popped like a balloon. You think you do? Give me her chart and my pills. Santa needs us. Get that looked at? I'm fine. Great. I just admitted a cartilage hair a hypoplasia dwarf, 15 years old. What are you gonna do? I thought I'd get your theories, mock them, then embrace my own. The usual. Wilson told us he read it. Your choice of verb, I take it. It's appropriate. He betrayed you. And you should take the deal. Unexplained lung collapse and anemia. Cuddy thinks it's idiopathic. Cuddy and idiop being the relevant parts of that sentence. Well, I'd say TB, but Cuddy's already ruled it out. Then you'd be just as big an idiot as her. Don't you people know you're dwarfs? There are over 200 varieties of dwarfism, each with different medical complications. You can't expect us to be intimately familiar with all of them. The sick dwarfs sure expect you to. Carla Chera have aplasia. They have compromised immune systems. Gold star for Cameron. 
For extra credit, explain to the special needs section of the class why our patient's negative TB test is irrelevant. A PPD involves planting a fragment of TB under the skin to see if the immune system recognizes it. Because of a compromised immune system, our patient could have TB but not recognize it. The little people love you. What the hell are you thinking? You didn't think ratting out this hospital's best doctor merited checking with your boss first? I didn't rat him out. I got him a deal. Which he'll never take. He will if we... How long have you known House? Did you think he'd suddenly become reasonable? I made the deal. It's done. You can either keep yelling at me or you can help me avoid a complete disaster. It already is going to be a complete disaster. He's not going to take the deal. He's going to go to jail because he's a child. He's too stubborn. When a child misbehaves, what do you do? You take away something he loves. We can't take away his Vicodin. Not only will he be in pain, he'll start to detox. And we tell him the only way to get the pills back is to take the deal. He won't be able to function. That's the point. Are you going to explain that to his patient? What choice do we have? Not taking the deal. Glad we talked. Ultrasound her liver. Sit down. Stand up. Your turn. House, you're off the case. Your treatment privileges are suspended until you accept Tritter's deal. Well, I'm obviously not going to take the deal just so I can have the fun of treating a dwarf. So I assume there's more to this threat. I'm also cutting off your Vicodin. That could work. I'm taking over as attending. Get an MRI of her lungs. This is not lung cancer. We'll find out as soon as we MRI her lungs. You're going to come begging me to save this girl long before I come begging you for pills. I hope not. For everyone's sake. Where's Cuddy? In this drawer. It's a rescue mission. But I got it under control. You can leave. You were right about the liver failure. The patient had very still bleeding, which suggested cirrhosis, but... Off the clock! You predicted this. You obviously saw something. Obviously. Liver biopsy was negative for cirrhosis, but it shows sclerosing cholangitis. Even weirder, there's no increase in alkaline phosphatase. Hmm. Medical mystery. Sounds like the kind of thing I'd be good at. Breaking and entering sounds like the kind of thing you'd be good at. I take it that's where Cuddy's been keeping your pills. One theory, one drawer. Really? I thought you'd be all for this torture house plan. It works, therefore it's good. On the other hand, I don't want to talk you out of this deal by pointing out your hypocrisy, so patient's life at stake, blah, 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 blah. Forget about the specific nature of the liver dysfunction. It's irrelevant. The dwarf's problem is global. That's why the gallium scan was bright. It's going to spread throughout her entire body unless you stop it. If that were true, more than the lungs and liver would be affected. It will be. It'll spread through the biliary tree and hit her pancreas next. Stop retracing your steps. Get ahead of it. Forget the liver and focus on the pancreas. Because after that, actually after that, it doesn't really matter what it hits because pretty much all roads lead to a dead dwarf. I get why you don't want to go to rehab. But only an idiot goes to prison for being stubborn. Only an idiot stands between Ahab and his whale. Move.